I'm Jane. I love history and storytelling. My name is Bert, and I like the technical side of paranormal investigations. And with our good friend and psychic medium, Lauren Moss, providing remote guidance for Michigan. We gather lore from history and use modern science to investigate the paranormal. The baby? Because you can't have one without the other. Unearthly. History and paranormal investigation. We start out this 1500 mile road trip to the beautiful state of Michigan to be guests at my sister's wedding in Kalamazoo. And yes, Kalamazoo is a real place. The wedding was held at the gorgeous but extremely haunted Henderson Castle. Luckily, our great friend and psychic partner, Lauren Moss, surprised us with this next investigation site. Not far from her house in Grand Rapids is the most haunted cemetery in the state, Nunica Cemetery. Established in 1883, among the unique gravestones and more than 1,600 internments, situated near the center of the cemetery, are the graves of several children who died during the 1920s influenza outbreak that swept the area after the 1918 flu pandemic. Locals to the Crockery Township area, situated around the cemetery, say there are burial sites of the indigenous people that originally inhabited the land there as well. Among the commonly reported accounts from Nunica Cemetery is the spirit of a young girl that walks the cemetery grounds with guests and holds the hands of those who can sense her. Oh, we just got here. <laughs> we, well, we have a YouTube channel that we're on. Yeah, we do. You always come here? This is our first time here. Mm-hmm. Notorious um, cemetery in Michigan. No, besides spirits, there's a difference between spirits and entities. The tree over there that's dark. Yeah. Anybody around us now? Like oh, relatives? We have a lot of people around us right now. They always say when you leave the cemetery, they always say leave the spirits here. <laughs> so if you're a medium, you yeah. just you. Uh, How are you doing, kiddo? She called him. Oh, come here, man. I love holding my hand. It's so cute. Look at the one in Bascom loved holding my hand, but I went and saw him a lot. Someone's holding your hand that's buried here? Mm-hmm. She's a medium. Go. They've got a little girl holding onto her hand. Is there somebody by me right now? Can you bring her this one? Will you walk with me? Hello. <laughs> A girl, my daughter, I was telling my mom back when she was six, she came into our bedroom one time and she goes, Mom, there's a little girl standing right there. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah, she's got short black hair, she's got a dress on and everything. So then we came out here, oh, two years later, there's a little girl buried right over there. 
described her to a T. Oh, a wow. I'm trying to find her. Scared. She's saying scared. She's scared. Scared of us? No. Mm. I got a degree one. Did she... In the sun. Where are you? She's talking to a little girl. Where are you right now? The little girl's holding her hand right now. I mean, where is your really? burial plot? Can she touch? Yeah. I wonder if it's over there. That's her. Mm. This, I mean, we came here, I'm like, Brianna, yeah, that's the same one. She goes, yes, Mom, that's her. Oh, wow. Yeah. Do you not want to show? Men. She keeps saying men. There's men. There's men. Men. There's, like, feet running, too. There's feet running right now? Men. Wonder. Men. Will you show me? I'm not gonna let them hurt you. In fact, hold on. Let me bring in some like big guys. Yeah. Can she? I asked my higher self and the and all my spirit guys, Shoga, Aranon, Lelahi, to bring in Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Uriel, Metatron, and Sendlothon. They're nope. not gonna. I was hurt gonna you. say there they come. They're not gonna <laughs> hurt you, baby. They're good guys. I think I'm picking up on her fear because I'm really shaky. Yeah, she's she's scared. Can I have an archangel protect the car? So my child's okay. There you go. Thank you. Especially smelling that smoke went like right when we got here. Yeah. Yeah, this little girl that we found here, we were a couple years back. She's over here somewhere. And she's got a picture of her on the tombstone. It's like a corner. Yeah, something with her stomach. With her stomach? Right. All right, we need to do a proper introduction okay. first. We are here at Nunica Cemetery in Michigan. Very special episode because we have all three of our teammates here with us today. <laughs> That's yeah. it. We have a very special teammate here with us, Lauren. We finally get to do a live investigation with her. And we're already starting to pick up on some pretty strong things. One of the things that I read in the article that Lauren shared with us is that there's a little girl that people will feel holding yeah, their hand. That's her. And, and she's here with us right now. That's her right now. We've dropped two degrees since we've been standing here talking about her. We've gone from 90 to 88. That's just crazy that it's dropped two degrees while we stood here. <laughs> No change in the frequent in the electromagnetic field though. Where do you want to go? Okay, she keeps saying with me, so it's that whatever way? we go. Do you want to try going that way? Yeah. She may. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm feeling I'm that too. You. Keep going that way. I'm gonna Can I walk in front of you? Okay, I'll walk in front of her. Yes. Oh, oh good lord. It's cold over here. It's it's 86. We've dropped four degrees since we turned the device on. It started at 90 and now it's at 86. Still no read on the EMF though. Let me get that finger thing going again. Is your stomach okay, little one? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm picking up on it. It's okay though. She... I don't think her death is okay. She's kind of unsure about the death. Message. Why are we here? Message. Okay, what's the message? Backwards. Are there more back that direction? Yes. 
back. I know, I know I keep moving my hand, I'm sorry. Backwards. There's more bodies backwards. There's kids back that way too. Yeah, there's more buried back that direction. Really? I don't want to go in too far because it's so nice. There's more. Is she saying darkness? Darkness. Darkness. What's dark? Bad. Is that the scare? Yes, scare. Men, scared. Don't leave me with them. You want me to move? It's really freaking cold here. I got an 87 temperature reading. Go closer. Can I bring this little thing around here? Is it okay? It won't hurt you. It's gonna. It might be, but we'll get Touch it if you want to. It's not gonna hurt me. You can go ahead and touch it. It's okay. I can sit it down if that would help you move it again. There we go. It's a little easier. Good. It's 85 now. You made it go down a number. That's really good. Can you make it go down to 84? I know, this is unusual. Mm -hmm. I know. I know, it takes a lot of energy, baby. Mm -hmm. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's okay. You did it! Good girl. You did Thank it! You. Good! Thank, Thank you. You were such a sweetheart. Thank you. What'd she do? She dropped the temperature from 86 to 84. Mm -hmm. We asked her to. That was really good, sweet girl. Thank you. 83. Can you make it drop one more degree to 82? Just one more. Just one more degree. That's actually my good temperature was 82. You're at 83 still. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Come on, you can reach for it. Is this thing scaring her? She's, she keeps looking over towards the forest like she's waiting for something to come. There she goes. Yeah, you did! 82. Good job, thank you. Yeah, you wanna walk? Okay, baby. Okay, baby. just lashed really hard onto my arm. <laughs> the little girl has? Yeah, she's like here. No, she's like holding both arms around the arm. Ask her if she's buried right around this area. She has short hair. Dark hair. She has short hair. That's what I'm looking at. She's got short hair. The color. I'm going to say dark brown to black. Yep. Very right. And she said that she used to have bows in her hair. She hated the bows. Hated the bows. Yeah. Yes. Why would they put those on me? Okay. Get it, yeah. girl. Mm -hmm. That's what my daughter described this little girl. She's right here. Mm. Oh. She's got to find her. She's got, you'll see the picture of her. We're at 79 now. We started mm -hmm. out initially at 88. My daughter described her to a T. Or 89, I'm sorry. Would you like to she walk some more? Six years old, six years old. Good girl. Cute little drag. Oh, she's, she's adorable. Is she buried? Well, she is like wrapped around my arm. Are you buried around here? Yeah. Do you want to go see? She, do you want to see? Or no? says she wants to stay with you. We can stay with each other, but you do realize that once we're done, we're going to have to go back home. You can't come with us. Nope. You have to stay here. My hand is freezing. Your hand cold? Like, my fingertips are so freaking freezing. Mm -hmm. Oscillating between 77 and 78, so we've dropped a full 10 degrees since we've been out here. Okay, let's pop, baby.
Where do we need to head? Or, okay, let me see it through your eyes. So when you guys are done now, go behind that building. Yeah. There's a gentleman that sits out there. Behind that building. Sadness, absolute and utter sadness. Significantly colder. I'm not registering a change yet, but it's. You can feel it too. Mm -hmm. It's like a pillar, and it's not moving. It's just it's. Yeah. Staying still. So I'm trying not to look. She is it. like right wrapped around me, like uh, like a little kid would wrap around their mom's arm. Seventy six now. Yeah. So Rayfield, do we have dark inter entities in this? Yes. Bad. Negative. Negative. You guys can talk to me. You can't audibly talk to. I know you can. What are you getting right now? Just had someone say, I'm sorry. <laughs> Every time I pick up, it's like picking up a child. This ear, I just heard here, like here, male's voice. Like what are you? Okay, you are you done? You just wanted me to know that you were here. Okay. Fine. I'm sorry. We're walking I on. <laughs> what up? I do. I don't know what I'm laughing. Yeah, that's that's what he was doing. I'm laughing. Because that he wanted to see if I could, and then he realized that was stupid. I just like I can't quit. <laughs> It's like a sneeze when I feel it. You know how you can't really control a sneeze? I need to turn. You can still hold on to my hip, okay? Hold on to my hip. What's your name? to meet you, Mary. I need my arm. Can you tell us how old you are, Mary? Damn, they didn't even get to name this baby before it died. Oh my gosh. Seven. Okay, that's good. She's seven. Tell me something you really like. That's something you really like. Birds? Birds. I like them She too. said something about birds earlier. Yeah. A lady. She did. She Just said randomly too. Likes those birds. <laughs> Do you like to hear him sing? I kind of like that. <laughs> I'm going to try something. A dog? Okay. Because I'm kind of feeling like I'm picking up on some of the stuff you're getting responses with. So I'm going to stand over here and as we ask questions, I'm going to see if I can line up with what input you're getting. 
Okay. Will you answer her questions? You can still use me. I'm like really in tune with you. There's like a line forming behind me. Oh wow. Okay. So what is your favorite color? Can you tell me your blue? Like you had a blue dress maybe? Yeah? And it had like a ribbon, kind of like a square collar. And the ribbon ran through the square and it was mm -hmm. white. I thought you looked really pretty in that. That's what she's wearing. Is that your favorite dress? Something about a doll, too. There's a doll. A doll. Where's your doll? The doll has... Oh, that's creepy. No, sorry, not, you're not creepy. Dolls are amazing. Doll. Hair. Hair. Doll. There's a doll with her hair off. There's a doll with her hair. I keep hearing something clinking inside her last case. Baby, do you want to cross over? No. No. Mom and Dad are here. Does she know how to find Mom and Dad? At night. I can see them at night. Can they see you at night? Yes. That's good. Do you get to hug your mom and dad at night? Yes. That's really good. That's really good. Do you realize I can probably have you guys all cross over as a family? We're fine. Okay, tell me about what's in the forest. Bodies. What else is in the forest? Because that's not what's scaring you. It's dark. Is it from the land? No. Okay, so let me see if I can't draw this out. Will you keep letting me see what it looks like? Big shoulders. Um, this thing. And it's hard to just write it. Look at this cloak thing. Eyes that glow like there's a face. And it's huge. I mean, it is like huge. It's, my, ooh, reminds me of the last scene of Frighteners, where he takes over the carpet. One of the last scenes where he's taken over the carpet and he becomes this carpet phantom thing. It's almost kind of like that, the way that it goes around the cemetery. But it's huge. It like blankets. Is it bad? She seemed definitely not good. Scary. Men. Men. Okay, okay. Ooh. So is this compo- Were you here when they were- when this came about? Yes. So you saw how this was created. So souls and men made a pact. And kind of like they all just kind of grew into this thing. Hmm. Are we right close to your parents' graves? Yes. Was your last name Plant? Can you tell me what your last name was?
mother, father. They lost her at a very young age, but mother, father. Where are you away? I'm not saying that we need to find your grave, but how far away? Are you back? I'm sorry, are you back towards the left? Left. It just sounded like there was a dog behind me. Like I would be here. Hmm. That could be the dog that she was referring to. Mother, father. Jane, mother, father. Oh, well, hello. But she's not with them. She's away, and I'm getting away to the left. So your name is Mary Plant? Yes. Thank she you. She got really excited with it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Plant. That's good. That's good. Do you think she'd be interested in trying to use the spirit box? I don't want to scare her, because I don't want to be scary. Do you think you could try? I'm going to Let's walk over here to the center. I'll sit down. You can sit right beside me. Come right, sit right next to me. Can I sit down in front of you? She said, oh, yes, please. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Can I show you what I have in my bag? So, this rectangle right here. This black rectangle. It can help me hear you the same way she can hear you. So when I turn it on, it's gonna make kind of a scary noise. It's gonna go ch -ch 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 -ch. But you don't have to be afraid of it. It might sound a little scary. If you're next to this and you say hello, I can hear you when you say hello, just like she can hear you. I won't be able to see you, but I'll be able to hear you. Is that okay if we do this? It's okay. Nothing, nothing's gonna hurt, hurt you. I swear, nothing's gonna hurt you. We've got angels here. I know you've seen them. Hello. Hi. Let me make it a little slower so I can hear you, okay, Mary? Can you say hello, Mary? In the garden. In the garden? What's in the garden? There's people there? Can you tell me what your favorite color is? What's your favorite color, Steve? If I guess it, will you tell me yes or no in here? You will. Is it green? Is it blue? Okay. Is it blue? Is there anything else you want us to know about this is what? Was that your voice that came through just in there? I suddenly have an urge to run the SLS by the building where the old man has been seen. Unable to fight whatever was calling me over, I randomly leave the session with the camera running and head over. Is there anyone else that wants to talk? You can talk into that device. Just come and say hello. Can you tell me about that tree over there? The real dark one. What's going on with it? Up with that tree. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, apparently you guys don't want to cooperate over here. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Spirit box is off. I'm turning the recorder off. Let's see where Bert Mesa went.
go touch it. Okay, Mary, are you gonna come with us? Or? Okay, she's like, no. She doesn't want to go near the tree. He's way over there. Do that until we. Why is he over there? Because he's got that shot. He's got the S on like him. Is he okay? I don't think what he is okay. I'm gonna scoot on up and try to catch him. Hey, you. What's he saying? I can't make it out. It's like very in a well. Weird. But you can hear like every once in a while an old man cough. Is he off? I would say ground, but grounding's not the best thing to do in a cemetery. Mm -mm. And he's having trouble with the SLS too. It's like it's too bright or something out. I don't know. Let me get over there. I, I couldn't tell that we got anything over with the SLS. He was just kind of walking around and tinkering with it and I couldn't really tell. Hmm? Mm hmm You don't need a ground. No, I'm good. You sure? Mm-hmm. Where do y'all want to go next? You didn't find anything over there? No, it was, I don't know if it was too bright or what, but I think that's the only place that I've felt anything so far. Let's walk over there. That just somebody was around. Just like being watched, not like cold or anything? Uh, not really watched, just the company. Did it feel positive or negative? Mm hmm. You're just present. I was a little, I, yeah, I was just kind of, I just could feel it around. That's about it.
Like they didn't know they were hurt and then like did that and saw it. I'm getting someone who's been shot in the head. There's a blood in my mouth. I just keep seeing this, like they reached up and touched themselves and like just just covered in it. So I'm going to ask some questions and you can speak into this area right here with the microphone. You can speak right into it. What's your name? Do you watch over the children that play in this area? What's your name? How many spirits are here with us? You guys stay up here, don't you, mainly? Away from the back area. You just call that thing it. Did you have a gunshot to your head? No. It wasn't. We got the dude with the gun shot to his head, and we've got, I don't want to call her school marm, but she's acting like the school marm, the teacher, the protector of the children. Anne. Anne. His name is Eddard. Eddard? Not Eddard. It's Eddard Stark. Edward. Okay. So, I think we're going to get a lot of responses over here. Okay. Because we get a couple of heads that are trying to figure out what the hell we're going to do. Are they receptive to it right now? Would you speak with us? Yes. Okay. Will you speak with Jane? Hello, little kid, the little boy over here says she's creating. You can talk to me. So I think they'll call. Okay. So you talking through that device will help them hear you the way that I hear you. Yes, I know. She's pretty. Can I talk to you through this? She said, uh, Anne is saying go ahead. Okay. Thank you, Anne. Here we go. Hey, Anne. Are you, were you a school teacher? Tell me about the kids that are here. How many of them? Fourteen? Can you tell me your name? My name's Jane. What's yours? Was 
that you? Okay. Um, tell me where you are. Are you this way or are you this way? I can come closer to you if you'll tell me where you are. Would you rather talk to Lauren? Would you rather talk to Lauren? Would you rather talk to Lauren? The protector of the children. Anne. Oh, something. Oh, okay, did you want to talk to Lauren? Do you want to talk to me? Jane? Do you want to talk to Bert? If I walk over to that tree, will you talk to me some more? Gladly, thank you. Are you happy here? You're not happy here? Yeah. Okay. What do you like about being here? Do you like the trees and the birds? The bugs? Is it the butterflies that you like out here? Recording just stop. I'm gonna restart it. Okay. Edward, or do you like Eddie? What about Ed? That's fine. Ed, do you? Were you a hunter? Ranger? Like a park ranger? This cactus right there. That's weird. Oh, you hear about it? You would hear about it? What did you hear about? brother named Eddie. What do you do here now, Ed? Do you protect? Do you watch? Do you help? 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 Do you Okay. Do we 
get other names of individuals around me right now? the flowers and the, the petals specifically around the graves. The purple ones over there. Can you say that again please? What are you trying to tell me about the flowers? witchcraft in this cemetery. Has there been witchcraft in this cemetery? Wait for what? Where? So beware or do it? Beware? Beware of what? Beware of the witches that come out here. Do they think we're witches? Do you guys think we're witches? It's not like she was running. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. So are you guys happy that the archangels are in the cemetery right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You do realize they can help you cross over. I wonder if they want help with the, the dark food. Are you trying to get me to help you with the darkness in the back? Listen, listen. So are you guys happy that the archangels are here in this cemetery right now? You want to hold that? Like, heard him up. We're walking, we're walking. 
there anything you want us to know about the cemetery?
I kept hearing like a, a plane engine and he flew. In the cab. Yeah, he flew. Today too. <laughs> Did I get it right? Oh, Thank you. So Thank you. Is that your cat? Oh, you're still around. Hi. Hey, George. Oh, what? Oh. Hi. Yeah, I'm still here. But she's a cold girl. Oh, yeah. So this is she's all the family. But there it is. Captain. Captain. Yeah. Captain George John Burka. What do you prefer, George or John? It's up to you. <laughs> okay, Captain John. I like that. <laughs> you. I'm just going to say thank you for your service. What you did was a great honor to this country. So thank you. So did you like flying? I mean, was it a passion? A dog? What was your passion? Were you a doctor? Instructor. Did someone put that there? The penny? Hey, who put the penny there? That's like underneath the pot, too. Yeah, it's like shoved under there. Well, like, in the clay pit, um, I'm going to turn this speaker over just a second. Give me just a second. At the clay pit, um, somebody had trapped Studman in the Bombay room upstairs using a penny because apparently they're scared of coins, especially copper coins from what I had heard. I don't know if that's that true was or not. Steps. Yeah, I heard it, too. That was bigger than an animal. Ooh, just and that was hear right where. Multiple footsteps too. They're starting to come in. That was right where we. I saw that shadow too. They're starting to come in. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn the speaker back on. But yeah, somebody trapped him there. I don't know if trapped. Oh, they, maybe they just wanted them. I think because there is that old custom. Putting pennies on a grave is good luck. Mm. Okay. However, unknowingly, he, they could have trapped a hammer. Mm -hmm. So just get... Okay. Captain John, or Captain Jerica, is this penny keeping you here? This is on? That's what you said earlier, and I thank him for his services. I do thank you for your services. What do you mean that the services are keeping you here? Is this penny right here keeping you here? Have you crossed over? I mm -hmm. Oh, I heard a lady know. Good enough. Kathleen? 
Are you waiting for Diane? Same boy. Yeah, I've heard of punnies on, on headphones before. I didn't know what it took them. Yeah, I just, get, I just got woozy when I stood up, yeah. Just yeah. Good morning. That was so loud, too. Good morning! It's 2.21 in the afternoon, sorry, but I had a little issue with that. <laughs> hey, can we keep walking? Yeah. Like, what is that for? I wonder. Truffles in heaven? I just broke one. Ah, he said I'm out. What? <laughs> Thank you. What happened? Both on both sides are saying you're out. I said, she said, I wonder what, or one of y'all said, I wonder what that's for. And I said, truffles in heaven. And she just like couldn't. Like she had to turn around and be like, nope, I'm out. Said, I'm out. And she just said, I'm, I'm out. out. <laughs> you like that one. What is, is this like a... Or a number? Stop and do. Number? 1970. You see it over there? On the tree over there, I think. That's Somebody's exactly where I saw it, too. It was like right over here. He said, Oh, yeah. Is that you? Right there. Follow me? Ooh, sometimes it's a scary thing. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, we got these. Right right <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we we got... only die if we make out in the first five minutes me and him, so. <laughs> gotta keep on getting massive chills. Like all at once, too. Yeah, you okay? Yeah, I got it. It's, well, nauseating? Yeah, it is hard to breathe in here. It's hard to breathe? Thank you for noticing that. Yeah, it is. Hard to breathe. Something about your neck. There's something wrong with your neck. So the first time I felt weird this whole time. It's cold right by my legs and my butt. They like your butt. Huh? They like your butt. <laughs> they always like your butt. <laughs> yeah, those old timers, man. They they got feisty. Yeah, uh -huh. Whoa. I don't want you to make me feel good. He said I'll make you feel good. Nope, this guy does that. Only this guy. I wonder if he didn't like me calling him an old timer. Probably not. They don't like that. Did he? Yeah. Gotcha. 
<laughs> he did. I mean, just reared back when he did it too, to smack oh, me. Don't touch my woman. Mm -mm. Yeah, cool. That was the same voice too. He just had a perfume. Oh, are you wearing perfume? I did smell some floral there for a second, but yeah. I know it's not me. No, I think that's how he sweet talked the ladies when he buying perfume. Oh. Well, if you can manifest perfume right now. That'd be wild. I would be more than happy to see that. What kind of perfume? Sounds a little deeper, boy. Are you being kind of quiet because we have a couple of archangels by us? Are they guys? I'm just not making a peep now. <laughs> oh. That was actually kind of a sexy big guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. my ride or die. <laughs> Over there. Oh, cool. Do you know I like the black squirrels up here? Do you like yes? Do you like the black squirrels too? Oh, got so excited. <laughs> First you. First you. I know they're cool, aren't they? I got so excited. <laughs> I got so excited when I found out there were black squirrels here. Did you? Are you happy we're here? take it or leave it type of feeling. Mm -hmm. I kind of heard a <laughs> Watch yourself? For what? The angels? No, the angels are good. Where are you right now? Can you tell us your name? Whoa. That was the lowest voice I've ever heard. <laughs> Can you tell me your name again, please? I didn't quite hear it. Were you the one tickling my neck? What? It could have been not uh, watch the watch yourself because of the angels, but he could have been telling others watch yourself, angels. Oh, because the angels are around. Yeah, mm. like he's on the bad stuff to get away because there's angels. 
Is that what you were doing? And I swear sometimes those they sound like yeses kind of mm -hmm. sometimes, but it's hard to tell. I feel like I'm getting pushed. Like not mean but just gentle. Yeah. Do you want me to go this way? Yeah, I kept feeling like I wanted to go. Yeah. Will you follow us if we go this way? They're not interacting. Like I can do like Buckingham Palace when we were trying to get the guards to move. Oh yeah. It's just they are not gonna move. Not gonna move. I can't get stoic. It's like the, the regulated is what he the said. Silent. They're kind of like the silence from Doctor Who, but not scary. Exactly. Yeah. It's like if you saw it, like physically saw it, you'd forget about it instantly. So many accidents waiting to happen. feeling that they like don't like the construction over there that's what I do too because whenever I look at the woods like either in some parts I feel really scared but in other parts I just have like this big goofy grin on my face Killed train, train hopping. Because <laughs> that was the ding, 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 ding. I was keep hearing. Oh, wow. That's wild. So, he was just like 12? 1875. 12, yeah. Wow. He was just playing the tracks? Or? No, I think he was riding the rails. 12 years old. And if you think, you know, the first half of his life was basically the Civil War. God almighty, poor baby. Do you imagine train hopping Sage at your age? No, because you and him were the same age. Hmm. Hmm. Like, you get in a different area? Right. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Ye
Colors, Victor Sage? No. Can I try? Yeah, go have one. If it changes colors, you've stumbled onto something. Hi! <laughs> D-O-U. D-O-U? Duke. Yeah, okay, you can stop grabbing my arm, you little fucker. So we found you. So he was trying to. I think he wasn't so nice to women. So what do you want? What do you want? No, you're not getting me. No, honey. Mm -mm. You get no one because you know I got two big badass bouncers. So you need to really smart on. You don't release my mother's arm. Oh, he's released, but you weren't hearing with the. Oh. But I'm hearing right here. You do not get me. You do not have any rights over me, nor anyone else in this area. Naughty. You stand back, you get back. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm hiding. I got you. So, what do you want? Nothing now? Okay, well, you best back off. Michael? Raphael, shield him off. You keep on getting pushed. <laughs> like, I'm trying to keep my weight balanced. Shield him off. Yep. Okay, he's gone. He's gone, but... No. Hopefully, no. hopefully we caught the knuckle cracker because he was like over there and crap. Crap. Mm. Something's make me trying to hit something. That's why I moved away from Sage because I could just feel like... It looked like... Angry. Yeah. He is... Yeah. That's why. I'm... The way that he grabbed my arm would be like the way that a wife beater would have grabbed an arm of a woman just... throw her down. Ugh. He's... Look at my arm. Yeah. That's a big no-no in today's family, you don't, mister. Okay, let's walk away from you. Archangel Michael, why don't you bounce him? Go ahead and bounce him. Mm -hmm. Let's you know, get rid of him. He doesn't belong in the cemetery. Ow. Oh. Oh, oh, that's why I was that like, stay right there, baby. That was weird. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. It just felt like something grabbed your ankle, didn't it? Yeah, like real hard. <laughs> like I couldn't move it for a second. That's waking up. Tyler waking best. up. So we might. So we best get out of here right now. Go and do some sage mother. Okay.